Greetings fellow developers, I'm David from Openford and after covering PlayFab integration in our last video, today we're shifting focus to another essential bucket. We're diving into Firebase and into our custom extension for it. This powerful tool enhances your game with Openford's blockchain capabilities, simplifying authentication and operations for your players. We'll also integrate the Google Play Games plugin to provide your Android users with a more smooth and more secure experience from start to finish. So stick around as we break down all the steps to make your game more secure and blockchain ready with minimal fuss. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Okay, so first let's take a look at how this integration works. Um, I just logged in with Google Play in my Android device and also automatically to Firebase. And to play, I'm collecting some of these coins. And once the coins are collected, I'm going to go back to the menu and try to buy a new character for me. Okay, so the character is bought. And let's see what happens under the hood. So if I go to Firebase, I see that I have a new Google Play account. And if I go to Firestore database, there's a new entry, there's a new player created with an open fort ID. So what happened here is that the open for extension listened to the Firestore event when that uh, player uh, entry was created and created an open fort player for us, which is a non custodial crypto account. And if I go to open fort, I can see just refreshing this, I can see that my player which is this one is created. And also I have a transaction, a mean transaction successful. So this is also uh, handled by the extension. And that happens when a new transaction intent is created. The Firebase, well, our open for Firebase extension creates the player. So that's it. Let's dive right in. Okay. So here we are on GitHub. And first of all, please go through these prerequisites right here and we'll take it over from here. On this step uh, of this uh, guide, uh, you will need to download the SDK, the Firebase SDK. I already have this downloaded in this folder right here. And in Unity, we will need to add Firebase auth and also Firebase Firestore packages. So go to Unity, you'll see all these um reference issues right here this is because we need to add these packages so go ahead and one by one drag it to the folders assets and you can uncheck well you need to uncheck external external dependency manager all the other is good click on import and we're going to wait a bit for this. Perfect. Now we see we have less issues. So go ahead and drag Firestore one. And again, uncheck external dependency manager and choose import. Let's wait again for this to complete. Now it looks like uh, all the reference issues are gone, but if you go to our scene, which is main and game, and hit play, you'll see there's one issue left. So in order to fix this, go to this asset right here, uncheck validate references and choose apply. Also, let's just wait a bit for this to complete. Nice. So now if we go and hit play, we should be good to go. Next, we need to create a key store. So all this is prerequisites, but yeah, let's just let's do it uh, in this video. So to create a key store, go to player settings, player settings and other settings. Oops. Okay. So first we need to go to Android platform. Okay. 
as we're going to be testing this on Android, as it has Google Play uh, Games Auth and all this. Just switch to Android and let's wait a bit for this to finish. Okay, so now that we are on the Android platform, we can also change this to faster, smaller builds and go to player settings. Make sure you have the package name set and go down to publishing settings. And now we can create a key store to sign this app or this game for Android. So go to key store manager, create new in a dedicated location. I'm going to create it here under my folder. And yeah, I'm going to just set it to user. And here set your password. And the alias, I'm going to uh, type dep and also a password. Normally, these passwords need to be different, but in, in this case, I'll just uh, type the same. But yeah, uh, and yeah, fill your organization and all the other details here and just click on add key. Choose yes. And now enter your password. Select your alias and enter your alias password. Perfect. Save this. Perfect. So we have the key store created. Now, what you need to do now is find this uh, certificate fingerprint of the key store. And again, uh, check this video tutorial. It shows uh, very well how to do it. But again, let's do it in this video. So it's, it's easy. Just open your terminal. Copy the the path uh, where the key store is and oops cd and just copy the key, the key tool command here and i'm going to change this for my alias which was which is step and then the path to my, my key store that because I'm already in, in the folder here, it's going to be user.keystore. So you can see user.keystore. Perfect. Enter. Enter the password. And here I have my certificate fingerprint. And copy this one. Copy the SHA1. And also I'm always having a auxiliary text here which where i can paste all the values that i will need later we will need this for firebase and google play you will see great perfect so now it's time to set up firebase uh, so just go to the firebase console and i have it here let's create a new project i'm gonna call this Firebase tutorial. This is very big. Okay. I'm not going to enable analytics for this uh, tutorial. Create project. And let's just uh, wait a bit. And meanwhile, let's check what's next. So we're going to be adding um, sign in providers. We're going to be adding Google, then play games. So if we go to the Console still finishing up. Great. Continue. And just choose Unity. We're going to be creating a Unity app. And this lets us register the app for Apple and Android. And we're going to focus on Android for this tutorial. So here, very important, go to Unity, Build Settings, layer settings and copy <clears throat> your package name paste it here and yeah this is gonna be firebase tutorial this is not needed 
and we're going to register the app while we wait we just registered okay okay we're, go we're gonna do this later no no problem but this is very important okay your UDT app needs to have under assets we'll need to have this um, file for Android and this file for iOS if you if you uh, registered your app for iOS too so just let's click on next we'll do it later I have already imported the unity SDK so we have done this and just go to the console perfect so now choose authentication get started and we're gonna add first the Google sign-in provider enable we're gonna type Firebase tutorial Google sign in for example although not needed and choose your mail this is okay and just choose save and this automatically will create a google cloud project also perfect yeah we will download uh and we will provide this later so click on done and now under web sdk configuration copy the web client id yeah oh. web client id and client secret no worries i will be deleting this uh, project with this firebase firebase project later but uh, keep in mind please don't show the secret key and web secret key perfect oops yeah so i have this and let's add a new provider play games and add the client id that we just pasted here and also the web secret key and choose save so we have the two sign-in providers added and also for this um, for this game as you can see we will be able to log in with uh, with guest and also with mail so let's add email and password that's good save and let's add anonymous perfect great so now select google sending provider and just click on project settings and this is very important go down to your app our app add fingerprint and let's add the certificate fingerprint that we created well that we extracted before nice okay we will need to add this to google play also i think later but for now this is good and let's see what the guide says we added the fingerprint we already added also google play sign in so it's time to yep install the open fort extension for this and just choose install in firebase console select your project and you will need uh, probably to set up the billing if not uh, i already done it but if not just uh, do it uh, click on next this is all good this is all the functions uh, that open for it will call with this extension so you see great player create transaction intent 
um, also listening to the to the Firebase uh, Firestore, and we will need the OpenFort API key. So also enable uh, what we um, well the Firebase features that we need for this extension to work. Choose next. I think this is also all good. All these settings are also good, but here, very important, we need our uh, OpenFort API key. So go to the OpenFort dashboard. Then let's create a new project. I'm going to call this Firebase Tutorial. Let's wait a bit. Great, now go to API keys. And here you will find your uh, secret API key. Of course, I'm going to delete this project afterwards and just go back to the console yes paste it here and choose create secret nice okay leave this uh, as it is and choose install and extension and perfect this will take uh, three to five minutes to to finish so let's wait okay so the extension is successfully installed i just clicked on get started so do that and you will see a page like this and also make sure that in extension configuration section you have this uh, cloud firestore field set up as sync uh, before we didn't um, we leave it at as uh, do not sync but make sure you have it as sync you can change that by clicking on reconfigure extension and change that field to sync. So back to the this section, go scroll down a bit and copy this URL, the webhook URL. This way we will be connecting the Firebase extension to our OpenFort project. So go to OpenFort and under webhooks here, click on add webhook and paste it right here. Choose that webhook, and here we have uh, the webhook added. Perfect. And now that we are on Open for Dashboard, let's also make sure that we add our contract NFT, our our simple NFT, and uh, gas policy. So you can go to the guide, and you can go ahead and copy uh, this contract right here. You can use this for this tutorial. It's a simple NFT with a public mint. So just copy the address and choose add contract, choose a name for it, choose Mumbai and paste the address. And you don't need to set the, the ABI because this is done automatically by OpenFort when adding the contract. So do that. And also go to gas policies. We want to pay the gas for our users when that minting is done. So I already have one, but just choose add policy, choose a name for it, uh, choose Mumbai, leave this as pay gas for user. This is what we want to do. And automatically a policy rule is added that is applying this policy to our contract. Okay, make sure this is the contract you added and for all our functions, uh, contract functions. This is perfect. Save the policy. And I think with that, we're good to go. So now it's time for Google Play. Perfect. So now it's time to set up uh, Google Play. So go to the Google Play console. I have it here and create a new app. I'm going to call this app Firebase Tutorial select it's a game it's going to be free and accept the policies create up let's wait until it's loading perfect and now go to uh, grow section set up uh, set up management of the play game services uh, click on configuration and I think it's create, uh, we need to create a new, yeah, a new project for this, but the cloud project, we can go here and select the Firebase tutorial. So, um, 
if you know, uh, when we created the, the Google sign-in provider, we, uh, this automatically creates a Google Cloud uh, project here, so we can select it. That's the magic of uh, using Firebase, which is a Google product and also a Google Play. So that's going to be super, super nice and smooth. So we have selected this, uh, choose use. Okay, so with the app created, let's uh, scroll down a bit and in site credentials, just uh, choose, let's choose add credential, select Android. This is okay, but I'm just going to add Android for better understanding. Mm. And here I see that this is new. I don't know if this is an update for, for uh, Firebase, but normally when you created um, the Google sign-in provider, it just created a web client. So uh, it just created a, a, a game server a web client in Google Cloud. But now it seems that also it creates uh, an Android one uh, because my Firebase app is uh, on, and well, it's targeting Android. So let's check if in Google Cloud if this project, well, if this client it's it's created. So this is the project, and I can go to uh, credentials here. And indeed, there's the web client, and there's also the Android client, which is very nice. I think this is uh, very new and I can see that it has my package name. That's perfect. And uh, my fingerprint. So that's awesome. I don't need to create one uh, for Android. It's also created. That's, that's amazing. Uh, it's literally just uh, happening on this video now, not yesterday. So that's amazing. Um, so just uh, on Google Play. Yeah, let's select it. Now that we check that it's correct, we have the, the fingerprint and the, the same package name. Nice package name and yep, save changes. Perfect. Okay, so let's go back and add the game server credential, the web credential. Add credential, game server. This time I'm gonna say, web and I will have the web client auto created. Perfect. So save changes. And I have both credentials created. So to complete the setup of uh, Google Play games in Unity, we need to do a few things. First, we need to fill this uh, setup, Android setup information with our correct uh, Google Web Client ID and also credentials. So to do that, you can go to Google Play Console and here on the credentials, just click on get resources and copy the Android XML and paste it right here. This is one thing. And the other is um, adding the web uh, app client ID, which you can find right here is the game server that we created. And copy it. We also just save it before here. Uh, so just copy it and go to back to Unity and choose setup. Perfect. Also, the Android dependencies uh, will probably be resolved successfully, but if not, go to Assets, External Dependency Manager, and choose Force Resolve. This will solve all the dependencies issues. Perfect. So uh, one last thing we need to do is uh, go to Firebase and go to Project Settings. Okay, And here, uh, on your uh, Android app, you need to download the Google Services JSON and add this to uh, your Unity project. This is because uh, this way you link um, all the project credentials to the um, to the Unity project. So download this. I already downloaded, and then 
go to Unity and actually delete this this one because this is referencing to our to our uh, project. So also delete this one in streaming assets because this will be automatically created. You'll see. And this one is for iOS, I iOS. So uh, if you uh, registered your app in Firebase for iOS, you will also need to add um, this file right here. Um, yeah, so drag it under assets. And as you see, we have it here and automatically uh, created this one in under streaming assets. Perfect. So I think we have set up the Unity project with all the credentials and Firebase. Great. So now let's just test this. Um, we will test it first in editor. So let's say I want to log in. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Test user. Enter a pastor and register. Perfect. Also, now I can sign out and sign in with the same user. Perfect. And well, let's leave it as sign in. And if I go to Firebase, project, well, Firebase console, let, let me do a refresh. I'm gonna go to the Firestore database. And I see that there's a new collection with a player, perfect, with a test user and an open fort player ID. So if I go to player settings, IT open for dashboard and players. I will see this player right here, so that's perfect. And now if I go to uh, Unity uh, again, I can hit play and let's get all these coins. Let's do it again to be able to buy. Perfect. And now if I go to the shop, I can buy, I can buy Billy, I think. Perfect. So let me go back to Firestore. And let me refresh this. And I see that I have a transaction in 10 created actually with an error that will uh, be very good for us to know what's happening under the hood. As you see, it says no such contract as this number right here. This is because in Unity, if you go to, you can search for database. We have this character shop database that what is it is what populates uh, the characters right here, and um, all the all these database entries have this field uh, named contract, which is the contract. Well, it needs to be the contract that you have on your open for dashboard. In this case, um, this one simple NFT. You can copy the ID and go right here and I will change it for the six and the seven element, which are the ones which are not purchased and I will purchase now. So that will solve the error, but also, well, that will solve this error, but also we can go ahead and go to the, to the code and let's see what happens there. So in characters, uh, shop UI, this script, scroll down a bit and all the magic happen, happens here on item purchased. So 
as you can see, uh, here's where uh, we create the new entry to transaction intense uh, collection. But uh, here is uh, where we also need to change the policy. So go ahead and copy your gas policy, paste it here. Well, replace it for this one. Perfect. And all, all this is good because we're already getting the OpenFort ID key. As you can see, we have uh, the OpenFort ID key in our player. So we're getting this and we are passing it here as a function arc of the mint uh, function. So that's perfect. Um, I think now we can save this. We change the policy and the contract uh, on the database. Perfect. So we can just play this and see what happens. We already logged in with test user, but let's make sure that this is the one. Sign in. Perfect. Let's play. Get some coins. That's good enough. And we're gonna buy Billy. So we go, if we go to Firebase and refresh this, we can see that we have a new transaction intent entry. And this time it seems it's uh, successful. If we go to our open for dashboard players, I think my player, well, we can check it here. This is the player, the Firebase player. This is the one. We can see now that we have a transaction uh, successful. We can actually go to our account and see if we got the NFT and that's it. We got the NFT. Perfect. That's working. So finally, uh, we can, well, we have tested this in editor. So now, uh, before building to Android, it's always good to go here, assets, uh, dependency manager, Android resolver, and just click on force resolve. So all the dependency dependencies issues are gone. And then go to build settings. Uh, make sure also to sign uh, the APK again if uh, if it's not signed here, like in my case. Enter your password and just click on build. Okay, so send this to your Android device and see you there. Great, so here we are in our device. And as you see, we're logging in with uh, Google Play Games. We are logged in in Firebase. And we just uh, play the game, collect some coins. And once the coins are collected, we go back to the shop and we buy Billy. Perfect. As you can see, it also works uh, perfect in um, Android. And that's it for this video. Um, keep in tune for the next ones. Bye-bye.